Hi, this is JP from Now the Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another deck testing video. And this time I'm testing the Phoenix Prebuild Justice deck against the Project Wide Awake scenario from the Mutant Genesis uh, expansion. Uh, this is the second scenario uh, of the expansion. I thought that uh, because I'm testing a Justice deck, I would try out a scenario which has a uh, a bunch of uh, side schemes that we can try to defeat, etc. But um, I have set up the, the scenario. We have the Operation Zero Tolerance in play. We basically just ignore the threat on it. Um, we can't remove it because it has permanent, uh, because of the Knight of the Sentinels main scheme. Uh, every time we have five plus threat per player here, uh, we have to put one card underneath the Operation Zero Tolerance. Uh, if we ever get four cards underneath that, we lose. So we need to try to avoid that. Also, if uh, an ally is defeated, uh, we have to put that ally uh, underneath this card. So after an enemy attacks and defeats an ally, place that ally face down underneath this scheme. So that is our lose condition. We can't lose by threatening out on the main scheme. Uh, how we win is to just beat down the sentinels and, well, easier said than done. Uh, but without further delay, let's get started. Okay, and we are ready to begin. So I'll just... Uh, Throw my opening hand. We have a hand size of six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and uh, we get uh, mind control, psychic, uh, psychic manipulation, psychic blast, swift retribution, downtime, and passion for justice. Well, let's see here. Uh, we only have five health. Uh, I mean nine health. So. Okay, uh, Swift Retribution could be nice. Uh, we can combo it with the uh, Psychic Manipulation. And... Uh, yeah. So that's an attack. This is a fourth event uh, we want to. Yeah, well, doesn't do that much. Mind control is not that good at the moment. I think I'll mulligan that. And uh, mm, do we want to keep the rest? Mm, hard choices. I haven't played this deck at all yet, so these are the mechanics of this deck are quite new to me. Mm. I think Psychic Blast, not that useful. We'll mulligan these two also. Or we could play Downtime. Yeah, so I'm mulliganing the two. We get uh, Phoenix Firebird. And we get White Hot Room. Okay, well. We'll go with these cards, so I think our goal is to try to get the mutants at the mall done as fast as possible. So, uh, we want to play Downtown or Hot White Room. I will just play the Hot White Room won't play downtown and uh, okay um, maybe we just play it with these two let's uh, trust that first idea we had so we played the hot white room I will exhaust the hot white room to place one power counter on uh, Phoenix Force. Then I'll flip to hero mode. 
and uh, I will swap for three here and I will play uh, Phoenix Firebird here action choose remove one power counter from uh, Phoenix Force ready Phoenix or place two power counters on Phoenix Force so I'll remove one ready and we'll thwart this away so uh, when defeated the first player search the encounter deck and discard pile for a sentinel minion and reveals it flip this card and put it put jubilee in play discard any other version of jubilee from play so we get jubilee so uh, the first player take control of jubilee and uh, Action exhaust jubilee and spend a light bringing resource deal to damage to an enemy. So I, I think I'm doing that after we uh, get them sentinel in play. Let's see which uh, sentinel we want. So we'll put this uh, sentinel mark 2 in play because we can just defeat it. With Jubilee. And because we put it into play, we don't reveal it. If I'm uh, and reveal it, so we get a search. Okay, well, we search it and we get advanced. So, uh, Sentinel schemes for two plus two is four, so we get five. So, we have to put one card here. That, that was a bit, <laughs> well, not nice, but still. We'll uh, spend a lightning resource, exhaust Jubilee, and defeat this one. And we ready up. We draw back up to five. One, two, three, four, five. We get Rise from the Ashes, Genius, Psychic Blast, Cerbero, and Mental Paralysis. Okay. We'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the main scheme. Sentinel attacks. Phoenix will defend uh, for two against two. And plus one, we take one damage. We get an encounter card, it is assault, so it attacks again 2 plus uh, give the villain a tough status card, well it is, there. there is one already, so we take 2 damage. And that is the villain phase, so that is that round, let's go to the next round. Okay, and uh, let's see what we can do. Mm. We can't play Mental Paralysis, uh, we can play Cerbero, we can play Psychic Blast, and uh, we could play the Rise from the Ashes. I'll just play the Rise from the Ashes in play with these. Uh, so we have a <laughs> safety valve if we get defeated somehow. Then I will spend one resource from here and Cerbero to. No, first we hit with. Hit the top off with Jubilee. Then we'll play the Psychic Blast. We deal 4 damage to the villain. If you have the unleashed trait, uh, deal 4 damage to each minion engaged with you. We don't need that, so we deal 4 damage here. And that is our turn. We ready up. We draw back up to five. One, two, three, four, five. We get telepathic trickery. We turn peacekeepers, Phoenix Switch, Marvel Girl, and Psychic Manipulation. Okay, uh, we'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat over here. Uh, Sentinel attacks. We'll defend two plus uh, attach this card to the villain. So it is a learning AI. So, plus one scheme, so we don't take any damage. And the encounter card is uh, Abduction Protocols, Hinder 2, so it comes into play with 4 threat on it. 
So when defeated, the player with, uh, who defeated the scheme takes one the random set aside captive ally and puts it into play under their control. Well, that's good. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well, uh, this round... Uh, play the telepathic trickery. Remove four, four threats from Skiv if you have the unleashed raid. Stun and confuse an enemy. We don't need that. But I think I will see what else I can play. The Phoenix Suit gives us steady and retaliate if we are unleashed. Mutant Peacekeepers. Uh, hero action toward exhaust your hero and any number of X-Men allies will move extra. Well, that's not needed at this moment. Mm. I think we want to play Marvel Girl. To have a, another ally in play. Is this a limit once per phase? Yeah, so we can't play both. So I'm thinking of just uh, saving Marvel Girl for next round, and maybe the Phoenix Switch. So I'm playing the uh, using psychic manipulation and mutant peacekeepers to play telepathic trickery. We remove this. So this has victory two. It goes into victory display. We get one of the set aside captives into play. Okay, so we'll grab this one. We get Richter. I don't know what Richter does. So Richter is a two-cost ally with one ward and one attack. Response after Richter attacks, uh, deal one damage to the villain and each minion engage with you. And uh, three hit points. So that comes into play. So, okay. Now I think Victor will attack. So this takes two. Then uh, Jubilee will attack. So if Jubilee leaves play, he goes, uh, she goes into the victory display. And that is everything. Uh, we ready up. We draw back up to five. Swift Retribution, Telekinetic Attack, and Banshee. We'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the main scheme. Sentinel attacks, Phoenix defense. Two plus put the Sentinel Mark 4 into play, engage with you. This has guard and patrol, so we need to be mark that so we don't forget. And uh, that enemy also attacks, so we don't take any damage from the Sentinel, but the Sentinel Mark 4 hits us. And that causes 2 damage to us, so we are at 4 health with Phoenix. And the encounter card is Abduction Protocols. Well, that suits us really good. And uh, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well, I think we'll play Banshee. Then we'll go to Alter Ego to heal up. Because Banshee will confuse a minion. So we'll play Banshee. I'll generate one resource. And uh, we'll play the rest of these. 
I will keep the Marvel girl. I think allies are good at this moment. Or do we want to keep the telekinetic attack? I think that's better. So we'll keep that for next round. And uh, yeah, let's see what we can do. So we're thwarting for two here. So we can't thwart the main scheme, unfortunately. But we will. Uh, Banshee will confuse a mini. a minion. Oh damn. Okay, well, this minion is confused, at least. Then I will. well, we can say bye to Jubilee, so Jubilee will thwart one. Richter will thwart uh, one. We get rid of this. We get another captive. And we'll get cannonball. Okay, so cannonball takes one less consequential damage when attacks and defeats a minion. So we'll just hit this guy for two, but we'll still take one damage this round, but we flip to Alter Ego, I think we have to. So we're ready up, oh yeah, Banshee also has one damage. And we'll draw back up to one, two, three, four, five, six, but before that I think I will heal damage with the white room then we ready up so we have the telekinetic attack energy great mutant peacekeepers times two uh, phoenix firebird cyclops and strength so a powerful turn next round and uh, we'll go to the villain phase we add one threat over here uh, sentinel uh, uh, schemes for three plus two so this advances, we'll put one card over here, so we're halfway lo of losing, unfortunately. Uh, this guy just removes the confused. Oh yeah, remove five threat, not... Uh, so, uh, two, three, five, so there's still three there, that's bad. Okay. We get an encounter card. It is another abduction protocol. Well, we are getting a bit lucky with those, so we can get all the captives. Okay, and that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well, uh, we definitely want to heal up with this. I think we'll just flip to hero mode. Yeah, let's not make a basic recovery. So, uh, Cannonball will defeat this guy. And doesn't take con consequential damage from anything. Banshee will thwart for two. We don't have any minions to confuse. And uh, Richter will deal two damage here. And get defeated, but goes into our discard. So now we have room for another ally, and I think I will get one from here. So we'll defeat this one, and we get another one of these. We get Wolfsbane. So Wolfsbane, uh, uh, they get piercing. Okay, so that's an attack ally. Hmm, I think we want to Phoenix Firebird up. Uh, 
and I'll play it with the mutant peacekeepers. So we ready. So we removed one, ready it, and we'll swap this. And uh, then we'll play telekinetic attack with energy. And uh, mutant peacekeepers. So we deal seven onto the sentinel. So this is defeated. Uh, the next stage has steady and toughness. So uh, let's see. Toughness and 18 hit points. So Okay. 18 hit points to go. I think we may be able to finish this quite fast. So we'll Spain uh, hits uh, for two attack with piercing, so the top is removed. Two damage here. Yeah, and uh, I played this, so that shouldn't be in my hand anymore. And uh, I think that's everything. We'll save this for later. Be ready up. We draw one, two, three cards. We get uh, mission training, psychic reports, mission training, strength, and we have Cyclops, which I think we'll play next round. Uh, we'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat over here. Uh, Sentinel attacks, uh, Phoenix defense, put Sentinel Mark 4 into play. Okay, we'll have to delete that, and that hits us for two. So again, guard and patrol on it. And uh, then we get an encounter card. It is adap adapted armor, attached villain, attached to the villain. The villain gets uh, plus eight hit points. Spent uh, three energy resources, discard this card. So I think we need to get rid of that. So I'll just mark the extra hit points with these. So. If we remove that, we get rid of that. Uh, okay. Well, that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, so this should be ready. But uh, let's see. Mm, Wolf Spain will hit this guy, and then Cannonball will finish it off. Again, doesn't take consequential damage. Uh, I think we'll go all out uh, fighting now. Mm. So I will play. I use the. Uh, yeah, I'll use psychic rapport and. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll definitely want to. We'll attack with Banshee, so we deal two damage here. Then we'll play Cyclops. Uh, I'll use one miss mission training and strength to play Cyclops. Cyclops. Uh, uh, when Cyclops he, uh, enters play, plays two power counters on Phoenix. And uh, we will... Hit for two damage. Oh no, no, no. Back up, back up, back up. Two. I really want to get rid of the adaptive armor instead. So yeah, we'll, we did that. We still have these, so we let's not play. Let's uh, let's not play Cyclops yet. Or no, I think we'll play Cyclops. So we played Cyclops. Okay, and. Uh, 
Yeah, Cyclops hits for 2 damage over. We'll remove it from here. Then I will use one counter from here and the mission training to play Psychic Rapport. Uh, ready, Cyclops and Venus choose so either return a Cyclops card from your discard pile to your hand or place two power counters or Phoenix for. So we'll place two power counters up here. So it is ready. Cyclops hits again. And Phoenix will hit for one damage. And hopefully we can remove this next round. We ready up. One, two, three, four, five. Storm, downtime, swift retribution, downtime, and telepathic trickery. Okay, and we'll go to the villain phase. We had one threat over here. We will defend. So three plus one exhaust your identity. Well, that didn't happen. So we'll take uh, two damage. We get an encounter card. It is uh, Sentinel Mark 3, so it doesn't have card but toughness, so we can ignore that. So, uh, when revealed, search encounter deck and discard part of the energy barrier attachment and attach it to this minion. So, just checking. Energy barrier. No energy barriers here. Energy barrier. After the attach minion attacks, give it the tough status score. Okay, well, we are ignoring that Sentinel. Trying to just defeat that. Yeah. So it hits for a ton, but that. Can't do anything about that. Okay, so that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, well, maybe we want to kill this off. Well, Wolf Spain uh, can remove the tough and deal two damage. Then Cannonball can finish it off. So we'll do that. So we remove the tough, deal two damage. Wolf Spain is defeated. Cannonball uh, finishes it off. So, that is one less thing to worry about. Uh, the reason is because we don't have the correct cards to remove this yet, so we there's no point in rushing. And... Uh, we'll just... Oh yeah, there should be two here. From last round. Uh, we'll play Storm maybe. Uh, so Storm is a uh, the cost to play Storm by one. If your identity has the mutant or X-Men trait, so it's only four, but still. When Storm tw uh, towards a scheme or two threat from a different scheme, okay. Okay, well. Mm. How do we want to do this? <laughs> if only I had one energy resource to use, but I don't. That sucks. Uh, okay, we'll play Storm. I'll use one. Okay, we'll play Storm. So we save uh, Swift Retribution this time. 
stone will thwart for two. Mm. And there's no threat to, rem to move anywhere, so... Okay, and we will hit with Cyclops for two damage. So Cyclops is defeated, we have to remove two power counters from Phoenix Force. But that is our turn, uh, we ready up. And uh, we just let Phoenix die, maybe. So let's see. Uh, rise from the ashes. When you would be defeated, remove this card from the game. Ready your identity. Restore it, uh, it to its printed hit points value instead. Remove its power counter from Phoenix Force. Well, that that's a good trade at this point. So uh, we'll get three cards: uh, Passion for Justice, Telekinetic Shield, and Telekinetic Attack. Okay. We get an extra encounter card for next round. Maybe we'll just uh, nuke the adaptive armor to Depends a lot what we get from our last card. Okay, so last card is energy. Okay, now we have cards to remove that. That's perfect. We'll go to the villain phase, we add one threat to the main scheme, we will defend a tree plus uh, if the target for elimination is attached to an identity, deal this card to that player as phase down and counter card. Uh, target for, for elimination is not, so we'll just take one damage. And uh, we get two encounter cards. Gang up. So Sentinel attacks again. And <laughs> Shadows of the Past. Oh dear. Okay, but before that, we get defeated. But this trigger, so this leaves play. We ready. Uh, we flip this. This comes into play. These get shoveled in. And. Uh, so this uh, Dark Phoenix comes into play, uh, luckily this late of, in the game. So Steady Toughness and Villainous, so we mark Villainous and Tough. I don't have a mark for the Steady, but I can use this. So, that is a real toughy, but uh, yeah. We only need to deal 5 damage, uh, 7 damage to the Sentinel. That is doable. Okay. So we uh, heal to full. No, no. Nine. So now we have the unleashed trait. Phoenix gets minus two board and plus two attack. After a power counter is placed here, if there are four or more power counters here, flip it. But I think we will just end it next round. So just checking the consume the world. So permanent. While there is no threat here, this scheme loses the yeah. Force response after threat is placed here. If there is at least 12 threat here, the players lose the game. So another lose condition. Mm, okay. But that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well. First off, we'll use passion of uh, for justice and energy remove this and <laughs> I think that's enough we have three attack here and four 
So we have seven. That's enough. We don't have to even play the telekinetic attack. And uh, we can also swift retribution. So let's do that. So I'm using the telekin. Uh, no, let's just end it. Let's not do anything too flashy. So we attack for three. Then we attack for two. And we attack for two. And that is it. So we are able to defeat the uh, project Wide Awake. And uh, with Phoenix pre-built Justice deck, we, we got the Dark Phoenix in play in just at the end there. But still, I think this, this was a really good demonstration on how the uh, Phoenix pre-built Justice deck works and how the scenario works. Uh, luckily, we drew the Shadows of the Past um, at that late of a moment in the game, so Dark Phoenix and the Consume the World didn't give us that much of a headache. But yeah, that was a really fun game. Uh, hope you guys liked this playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time.